Gather round, gather round, gather round, I say, ladies and gentlemen. Do not miss the opportunity of a lifetime. That's right. Wealth, fortune, and happiness can all be yours. Why, I say, ladies and gentlemen, I have here, I have here the most effective cure for all your clamp-on ultrasonic flow meter amulets. That's right. I say no longer will you be concerned about the sonic coupling of your clamp-on transducer to a pipe wall surface. No, sir, indeed. Why, yes, I, I, Dr. Jedediah Flow, have traveled the world's jungles, mountains, deserts, oceans, collecting the most exotic and rare ingredients to develop the greatest acoustic coupling of all time, Dr. Flow's Miracle Coupling. <laughs> Well, perhaps you don't need Dr. Flo's miracle couplant, but you will need some type of interface between your clamp-on ultrasonic flow meter transducer and the pipe wall. The typical installation of an ultrasonic flow meter transducer is to clamp it or handhold it on the outside of the pipe wall surface. But, as you can see, the pipe is round and the transducer face is flat. You see, sound travels faster through a solid than it does through the open air. We need some type of an acoustic couplant to transmit that sound through. Here's an example. Let's say you're standing on a dock. And your friend is offshore in a motorboat. Take note on how loud the sound of the motorboat is. Now, if you were to go below the surface of the water, the sound of the motorboat is amplified and it feels like it's right on top of you because the water is denser than the air and is a better conductor of sound. So, to optimize the sound we are transmitting from the transducer to the pipe, we use an acoustic couplant as a conduit. Now, depending on the manufacture of the clamp on ultrasonic flow meter, there are many different types of acoustic couplant. They're also commonly referred to as sonic grease. In fact, in the old days, we didn't even use a grease. If we turn back the clock to the late 1970s, when I used this old analog display Doppler flow meter mounted in an even older camera case, we used modeling clay as a couplet. Well, needless to say, clay was not an optimum sonic coupling compound and was soon replaced by more practical grease products. As I indicated, there are different types of acoustical couplets to choose from. The decision should be based on your application parameters. For example, should you have an extremely high temperature application, say temperatures up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit, you would be using a very special waveguide transducer that is basically a heat sink. This extreme technology uses very expensive foil strips of gold and zinc as a couplant. Now, for applications where temperatures are between, say, 300 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit, we use a high temperature performance lubricant. However, for most of your day-to-day -day applications, you will use a tube of silicone grease or a bottle of water-based couplet. The water-based couplet is for those people who don't want to get their hands all sticky and gooey. Bunch of sissies, huh? It works great for quick spot checks on clean, dry, ambient temperature pipes. But if you have a vertical pipe or a wet surface or a warm surface, it tends to drip out quickly and you can lose your sonic connection. The more popular silicone grease typically comes in a tube with a viscosity similar to toothpaste. Hence, it tends to stay on the pipe and is ideal for pitted or uneven pipe surfaces. Even so with wet and warmer applications, but the downside is, even if you wipe it off the pipe, 
the silicone grease tends to still leave a little film on the pipe, so you'll never be able to paint that spot again. Some manufacturers even offer some special tape or pad interfaces, which may work in the lab, but in the field when you have a dirty, grimy, rough pipe surface. Let's just say it's been my experience that they tend not to be very successful. So stick with the acoustic coupling if you can. Now, in an emergency, when you run out of your sonic grease, what can you do? Well, in a pinch, and depending upon your environmental conditions, you can run over to the local drugstore, buy a tube of lubricant or Vaseline. Yeah, not the best, but you know, this has even happened to me. While traveling, I checked in my portable ultrasonic flow meter on the airplane, and unknowingly, the TSA removed my tube of sonic grease from my luggage. Needless to say, I was very surprised to discover I had no acoustic coupling when I arrived at the job site. Well, fortunately, it was lunchtime at the water plant and I MacGyvered the solution by borrowing a jar of peanut butter as an emergency alternate to a sonic coupling. Again, again, this is only for an emergency. If you would like the optimum performance from your ultrasonic flow meter, use the manufacturer's recommended acoustic coupling. But if you're forced to use peanut butter, make sure it's smooth and not crunchy. No, I'm not endorsing peanut butter. Now, the basic rule of installing a transducer to a pipe is to remove any insulation from the pipe wall surface and wipe off any loose debris. Unlike the old days, you do not need to remove the paint on the surface of the pipe. Just remove any loose material. Perhaps the most common question I get with regards to installing a transducer is how much grease do I apply to the face of the transducer? Well, it's very simple. Apply the same amount that you would apply toothpaste to a toothbrush. You see, when you make the mechanical contact of your transducer face to the surface of the pipe wall, you will squeeze out all that excessive wasted coupling. No reason to waste it. Well, I hope this answered all your questions about acoustic couplants for use with your clamp-on ultrasonic flow meters. We'd like to thank you for watching our program. For more information on today's subject, check out our show notes and links that are listed below. And of course, if you like what you see, subscribe to our channel. And as always, we would appreciate any suggestions of technology that we should include in our tech review program. This has been Brent Baird for Instruments Direct. See you next time. I know you want this miracle coupling and you need to make your life better. And for today and for today only, I can give you a very special offer. I bet you're wondering how much this bottle of miracle coupling cost. Well, well, my friends, this bottle is absolutely free, providing you purchase the first bottle. Mm -hmm. If you pass up this offer, I am sure you will regret it. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, step up and get back that spring in your step with Dr. Flo's Miracle Coupling.